Hi guys, so you can find us today at our lovely, rainy, horrible day. So that's why my hair's like this, sorry about that. So today what we're gonna do is put these needles in the wall. As you can see, we've uh, put these pockets of the walls out here, 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 all the way across. So what that's gonna do is allow us to put these small steels through and then support them with the acros here. Once we've done that, we can then remove this section of wall because the wall above it and the roof would all be supported by these steels and acros or needles as they're called. Yeah, so basically as I explained before, this whole wall's gonna come out and there's gonna be an extension, the footing will run across here and then back in across there and there's gonna be loads of glass all everywhere, it's gonna look amazing. Um, so obviously to enable us to do that and to make sure the, the kitchen inside is all open plan, we need to remove this wall here and then uh, a new steel will be put in just underneath these holes here. Uh, yeah, and then once the steel's in, once we've built our pillars up here and across there, uh, there, sorry, yeah, there. Once that's rebuilt, we can put the new steel in, take all these acros out, take the needles out, and then rebrick these points back in. Then continue with the work. So, I'll obviously do a time lapse so you can see what's going on throughout it, because it'll be a bit boring just watching us do the whole process. So you've seen us uh, doing the time lapse, putting these steels in. As you can see, they're all in. All on this one side anyway. We've still got to repeat the process over here uh, because obviously these steels have got to come out to help rebuild this pillar, reinforce this pillar. All the acros have been put in, they're all plumb, which means that needle that goes through there is catching both skins of the, uh, of the wall just to make sure we've got no collapse whatsoever. The last thing we want is any cracks to happen or anything like that. So yeah, they're all through there. As you might have noticed, those two steels there are slightly wider. That's because we've got to build a footing down in this corner. Because again, there's another pillar being built up here to carry this large steel, which will be going across. Let's just take a look inside as well so you can see what's going on in here. So exactly the same mirrored inside as out. So we've got the same distance away from the wall, both sides. So when we're taking this wall out, we've got plenty of area to move around in. And again, a wider space in here for the footing.
Finally, the rain's behind us, so we've got a lovely day at last. And today, we're gonna to be taking the rest of these steels out. We've got ourselves some nice beamless here. Me and Pete are gonna be doing this. Hi, Pete. <laughs> Pete's a bit camera shy, as you can see. But he's had a nice haircut, though, just to make the effort. <laughs> So yeah, like I say, we're gonna use these beam nests to get these beams out up here. We've already removed one, which is out there somewhere. Uh, once we've taken that out, we can then take the rest of this wall down, get all these bricks cleaned off, because these are Leamington bricks, so we're gonna reuse these in the new extension. Once they're all down, then we can dig the footings out and we're away. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll set the time lapse up so you can watch us taking these beams out, and then we'll go from there. Just wanted to give you a little bit more insight into the acro ear needling process, just to show you what we're doing and explain a bit more about it. So as you can see, and as I've explained before, we've put these needles through to support the building above. Uh, building regs state that you should put these no more than 900 mil apart. We like to go about 800 mil, obviously where possible, uh, just to make sure that it's that little bit closer just to provide a bit more safety. As you can see, we've used steels in here. Uh, some people do like to use timber, but obviously as it's timber, it can flex, which can cause cracking. We like to use steel, because obviously there's not a lot of flex, if any, at all in those. The acros are all plumbed up nicely. If your acros are at an angle, then you know, you've got a risk of it slipping. To prevent that as well, we also screw everything down, so all the echoes are screwed at the bottom. When we're putting them in, we clamp them at the top as well, so obviously if you're hitting anything with a hammer, it's not gonna slip anywhere. We've also put uh, additional supports underneath the joist there, because obviously, as you can see, the joists are just floating in midair. so if we were just to take the wall out and not support those joists, the floor above will be unstable. We do still have things up there, so we need to ensure that that's all safe. Also, it's worth just explaining to you while I'm here that uh, we're going to, take this steel up slightly so it actually runs in line with the floor there whereas before it was underneath same on this side as well you can see just here where the steel was we're actually going to raise it right up to here that way then the ceiling will just flow through nicely you're not going to have any major unsightly bulkheads there will be a slight return up here but you know it's, it's the nature of the beast there is going to be stuff like that 